I'm, I'm just going to wrap around it and make sure that my fingers are almost are always in contact with the surface evenly. I'm going to exert this pressure. But because I'm a teacher, right, I won't dirty myself. Therefore, I'll ask a fellow <laughs> student to work on this experiment. Uh, but I'll provide you ex uh, protection. You can have the plastic bag as a cover. So you crush it inside this cover. No plastic way. bag. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to try? Ernest. No, no. Ah, come, 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 come out. Show so that everybody can see. Uh, you, all you have to do, uh, is to make sure that your fingers are very evenly attached. Your thumbs away, uh, and then crush. Get on, get Okay, make sure evenly touching every part and crush. Okay. Are you trying to read? Ready? Can I pull that? Come, jingle out. Ready? Cannot be crushed. How strong man na? Evenly, yeah. Don't use your thumb. Don't use your thumb. You crush. Use your strength. Now Eric is the strongest. We will try. But if even I don't, don't use finger tip and press, because yeah, uh, much apply, apply pressure evenly. Okay, okay. Okay, <laughs> okay. okay. And anyway, the, the purpose of this experiment is to show that, uh, suppose if I can find a container with water to, to hold it in, right? Whatever pressure I press will not crush the egg, because the interior of the egg is of is a liquid. So, so whatever hydrostatic pressure I apply from outside, the inside pushes back. So that's that is why the, the, the egg shell doesn't crack. Yeah. So so this this experiment just just demonstrates the that liquids are incompressible as that that's why that's why this egg cannot be crushed by using this uh, principle. Yeah. So so this is quite different from the air which can be crushed. Crushed.